All right, can you find a ring from 40 years old? Stay tuned, we'll talk about it. All right, I'm here with PJ. How's it going, PJ? Good. We, uh, he lost a ring, uh, how many years ago? 40. 40 years ago on this property. And we're going to take a look and see if we can find it. But the property's been around for a long time, so it's possible we can find some other stuff. I think some Quakers lived here years ago, right? Yeah. Uh, how, how long ago do you think they lived here? The house was built in 1870. Oh, the house was built in 1870, so we could have some 1800s in here somewhere. So, all right, I tell you what, let's look around and see if we can find. Here we go. All right, 40 years ago, right behind me was a garden. PJ said they had a garden here. It probably went over to that tree right there, started up here, and worked its way back here. And they actually lost a diamond ring right here in the garden. They looked for it 40 years ago, couldn't find it. There has been some activity since then, so you know it's gonna be kind of hard to actually find it because uh, some dirt's been added up here a little bit now but we're gonna give it a shot right now so let's give it a shot real quick here we go all right so far we've gotten in some uh can slaw and some trash looks like we dug up a whole piece of an old bowl or something here all kind of pieces but i'm thinking that the ring should be actually a lower number well i'm digging everything kind of just to kind of see what's in here because you never know got some old property so you might find something else too so we uh but i'm thinking the ring would probably be 15 to 18 maybe because it's a small band uh he thinks it's gold so that's what i'm thinking right now but i'm digging just about everything right now just to kind of see what we got in here it's whatever this is right here i think yeah that's a little piece of aluminum yeah uh, getting a lot of cancel on here so getting us those good numbers we're gonna keep digging. Here we go. All right, no luck on the ring. Uh, Y'all know I can find them though. We found out other ones about that old in that one yard, but it's a big class ring, and I was able to get a really good signal on it. This one, it's got a little more trash involved in here, and uh, PT was telling me he tilled it every year and looked for it, but when you till it, it could be putting it down, you know, 16 inches maybe or something, and on the side, a thin gold ring, you might not get a hit if it got buried pretty deep, so. And uh, if, you did, if you know exactly where it was lost, so you all saw me find that other gold ring where the guy was throwing the pine straw and it came off his finger. And he knew the general area, we found that one. So that was no problem. But 40 years later, tilled up, well, I can't succeed every time. So we're going to go ahead and hunt the rest of this uh, farm because it is some age to it uh, back in the 1800s. Let's see what else we can find. Stay tuned. I was asked to look for a ring in a yard. It's lost 40 years ago, but we're digging around the yard just checking things out. And I got it hit right here. I don't know what it is yet, but it's round and it's pretty. Let's check it out. I don't know. It's definitely, a, it's really like a 33. So I would think it would be a silver or something. I'm thinking large scent, maybe 1800s right there. Right, we'll got to clean that up and check it out. I don't want to scratch it up, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking 1800s. All right, stay tuned. All right, we got a nice 24 here, right near where we got the large scent. Cleaned up enough to tell it is a large scent, but uh, don't know the year yet. I haven't cleaned up that much yet. So let's uh, do a little quick uh, dig here and see what this is right here. Stay tuned. Here we go. All right, hopefully that's what plugs will get that at the ground, whatever it is. Nope. I think it's right here on this corner right here. All right, let's see what we got here. Yep, that's it. We got out of the ground. A nice, it's a nice sounding number. It definitely could, yep, it is a coin, I think. I think I saw it. But it could be, I'm thinking maybe modern dimes, what I'm thinking. 24, let's see what we got here. Well, it's looking cop on it, so it could be a, uh, Weedy weedy potentially. Alright, I'm thinking sweetie weedy now. Just do a little pants clean here. Ah, stinking Lincoln. I can see it coming through. Alright, let's keep digging. Alright, what I thought would be a stinking Lincoln. I don't think it is. Check this out right here. I see a peace symbol, it kind of looks like. Not sure. And it could be silver. Let's check it out. Let's get some of this off of it here. Oh yeah, we got us a ring right Oh, that's got to be silver. No question about it. That is a silver ring right there. Look at that. That is beautiful. 
Man, I got the owner right here. You remember seeing that before? No. <laughs> he says he's never seen it before. There used to be Quakers that lived in this house many years ago. So it could be from them. That's pretty right there. We'll clean it up and check it out. Some hippies live here. Some hippies live here? <laughs> okay, that's probably where it came from. All right, we're just running through here real quick. Just digging the heavy, really good signals. That's how I got that first large hit. But now, since I've got a couple things, I'm trying to look around and see if we can dig a couple more things. A real consistent 16, 17. Very consistent. So uh, we'll go ahead and check this out, see what we got here. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. 16, 17. What do y'all think? I'm, uh, it's too, too low for like a penny or something, but I have dug a couple. Def in that claw right there. I have dug a couple uh, stinking Lincolns for sure. All right, it's right here. Ah, I've dug a few of those two in here. A lot of shells. PJ said there was a lot of shooting going on right here years ago. All right, let's keep digging. You know, you can only dig so many holes in a day. I've dug, I don't know how many of these things right here. It ring up like 16, 17. I'm going to stop digging that number. I hate to do it, but uh, I'm time limited, so you got to make best use of your time. So these 16, 17 numbers are no longer coming at the ground for me. Not today, anyway. All right, check it out. That's the number you want. 29, 30. Let's do a 90 degrees on it. 29, 30. All right, PJ, I think that's going to be something good here. Let's hope so anyway, right? right. Maybe another large scent, some more some silver. Gold oh, to blue. A gold to blue would be good. I think it'd be a little number two. <laughs> this one uh, could be a modern quarter too. But uh, since we found other old stuff in here, I'd say we got a good chance of maybe finding something else. I don't know, is that it? I don't think so. Let's see real quick. Make sure, no, that's, that wasn't it. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready for the reveal? It's in the middle of this clog for sure. Why well, should be a can a piece of aluminum? I hate that, but I'm not seeing nothing pop out yet, so that's a good thing. All right, here it is. I think, and it's round. It could be. It could be a modern quarter, actually. Could be silver too, though. Let's see what we got here. Definitely a quarter. Let's see what we've got. I always rub the edge of it and see if I see that copper coming through. And I think I do. I think that is going to be a clad quarter. We'll clean up, check it out, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right, let's keep digging. All right, I got an unknown here. It looks like it could be something that's glass. Maybe there's a picture behind that or something. Knob. Looks like it was something attached to something, so... Alright, we'll check it out. Stay tuned. Well, we didn't find a ring, PJ. Sorry I couldn't find it for you, brother. It's okay. We'll go, uh, we'll go head out, but PJ's got another piece of property. We'll go hit a little small area of his property real quick before we get out of here, so... Stay tuned. We'll see what we find there. If we find something, you'll see it. You'll be the first. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, we made a quick stop to show you something. PJ said, you might want to check this out. He, he used to hunt a lot and had a lot of dogs and inherited this property here. But it's got some really cool stuff on it. Check this out. These are dog tags from some of the dogs they used back in the, uh, during the hunting days. But look at some of the dates on these. Uh, 1958. Four, is that 43? 48? 47? Old stuff. Man, old dog tags. Isn't that cool? Look at that. 1959. Man, we dig some of these. Sometimes we'll be digging in fields. Now, I found some old dog tags for like that, but not, not this many. That's a lot of dog tags right there. Woo! <laughs> yeah. That's cool there right there. There you go. 2020. <laughs> That's the latest one right there. 2020. I hear you. 50 yeah. dogs. Holy smoke. All right, okay. we're going to go hunt one more spot over in, in the uh, field right there, and we'll get back to you in just a minute. All right, we got one more field here we're getting ready to hit right now. It's right on the main road, and it's got some nice high spots right over in this area here, so we got to get home. Miss Gig Max is getting hungry, so we're going to make a real quick run through here. Maybe come back another day if we get some hits in here, so let's check it out real quick. Here we go. All right, the first diggable target in this field. Well, I'm not going to say the first diggable target. The first target I'm going to dig anyway. I'm digging on good targets right now because I have a really short time here. All right, let's try one more time with the pinpointer. 
scared of. It's actually in the side down here. Let's see if we can get it out here. Nope, we still didn't get it out. Mm, okay, I don't see any hands all popping out. Oh, right, we got it out. It's in my hand, actually. And it's a coin. What is it? That could be a weedy. I believe we got a weedy. Sweet! A weedy in this field is a good sign. Could be a Indian here, but no. Nah, that's definitely a weedy. All right, we got some weedy. Let's back it up. I would call that a wrap. I only got one wheat pin out of the field, but we're only here 10 minutes. I think it might be some more in there, but we'll have to check it another day. Can't wait to get home, clean this large scent up, see what date it is. I don't know what date it is, but I know it's a large scent. I can tell by looking at it. All right, let's go and clean everything up and check it out. Stay tuned. Well, we failed today trying to find a 40-year-old lost uh, ring, diamond ring. But we did find some relics. Um, the area that we were looking in was an old garden. Uh, the ring was lost somewhere, supposedly in the garden. You know, they came in the house and it was missing. So, did it, was it lost in the garden? Well, we think it was, but it could have been lost somewhere else too. You, you just don't know. When you're talking about something that long ago, you know, you just never know. Uh, PJ just said every time he tilled it up, he was looking for it though. Every time he, he thinks it's in that garden somewhere. But uh, just some dirt's been added on, some things that happened over the years. So you just never know. But we did find that one 30-year-old lost diamond, gold ring. Remember that gold ring that we lost, that was lost, and we found? That was pretty cool. That, but, you know, a big um, uh, ring, like from a, a high school or college ring, they ring up, real, you know, like in the low 20s maybe or something, you know, big old gold. But that little tiny thin band with a little diamond, that thing will ring low. It, it, it is so, that, you got to read all the trash in there to try to pick that out. You got to pick every little piece of can slaw out when you're looking for that. So that's a tough one there. But we did find some cool stuff. Uh, while we're trying to do that, we went ahead and searched the rest of the yard just for the heck of it. You know, it was uh, built in the 1800s and um, we got a few things. Let's check it out. I don't. I didn't bring my trash home. I did have a lot of cans falling off, so we didn't bring that. Uh, stinking Lincolns. We gotta get our stinking Lincolns in. Three of those. Two modern clad quarters. A nice sterling silver uh, peace ring. Uh, he said some hippies lived there years ago. <laughs> he said so. Uh, I think he's rinsed it now. But the uh, that's definitely sterling silver. It's got 95 right around the inside. Pretty little ring. A 1919 wheat penny. Got to get our sweet wheatie in. And this right here. I'll put a picture up there. Uh, large scent. That's pretty cool right there. It. Uh, I'll show you uh, the picture up there. This right there. It's front and the back. You could tell it had a uh, a film of um um uh, like a I don't know like like it, it deterioration on it. Was, it was flaking off. So I actually ran from my tumble for 10 minutes to knock it off. I'll show a quick picture up there of what it looked like before. I put it in there. You, you could just take your fingernail and just pop it off everywhere. It would not have stayed on there. So I just did it long enough to knock that off. There's just a little bit left on it. So anyway, it did a pretty good job of getting to that point. It, it's been sitting in the ground for a long time. It's had a chance to do some deterioration. And you can see little pieces peeling off. But it doesn't too bad. You know, one other thing I don't know what it is. Anybody know what this is? Let me know. It had that little tab on the back like this right here. Not sure what it is. It's clear glass like, and it's, uh, I'm thinking maybe a knob or something, something. Probably early 1900s, I'm thinking maybe. I don't know, anybody got a clue that is the minute. Anyway, we, uh, we'll, we'll search for uh, a, a ring if it's been lost. If we got a good chance of finding it, you know. We, that one could have, because he knew the general area that was lost is, so, you know, it, we tried anyway, we tried. Well, I appreciate everybody coming along trying to help me find that ring. Y'all didn't see it, did you? I didn't see it either, so we'll have to call that, call that one out. I think if you actually sat there and you want to go through every single piece there, we didn't spend that much time. It, it, it'd take two days, but you might actually find it if you really want to spend that much time to try to find it. Anyway, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. Appreciate it, PJ. Y'all take care, and we'll see you in the next adventure.